When this car comes to town, heads turn. <laughs> We're not worthy. It's a custom modified 1935 Chevy Standard crafted by Winnipeg's Dennis Verrier. It's a standout among scores of gorgeous cars being prepped here at the BMO Centre for the Calgary World of Wheels show. Here's how the car used to look. I drove it until 1995. He finished the rebuild 13 years ago after six years of working on it. I decided to build myself a new hot rod, but not to this extent. It was just going to be a driver. Now it's anything but that. It was a three-window coupe, so I cut the roof on it. I stretched it a little bit, moved the windshield back 14 inches, built a new hood. We put remote doors on it. The trunk and the hood is all remote control. We took it down to Alabama to do the upholstery. I put a digital dash on it so that there's no gauges inside. It's a brand new 350 engine in it. We put the Inglis induction carburetors on it. We wanted the gold plating to, to, on top of the engine, so we had that done. We actually bought blocks of aluminum and made all our suspension all the covers, the wheels, the steering wheel, made all that out of aluminum. And the list goes on. There's the hidden fuel cap, the hidden air stem valves, the handmade front grille, etc. The point is, it's not meant to be driven. You either drive the car or you don't. And in this case, I built it to drive. I was going to drive it, but then I got carried away. I did too many things on it. Uh, and, and then I decided not to drive it. So just how many miles does it have on it? Probably it's got uh, about 150 feet is what it has on it, yeah. And those only came for its post-creation debut at Detroit's World of Wheels show, where it was named runner-up for that event's coveted Riddler Prize. Dennis's wife Judy had trouble listing off the awards it's raked in since then. Uh, it's won Canadian Grand Champion, it's won numerous World of Wheels events, and numerous other car shows, I can't name them all. Everywhere we go, the car is well received, it's just a top car, it does fabulous, which I think is really cool because it's an older car and it still holds its own wherever it goes. And it's sure to do the same this weekend, where it'll be among many beauties turning heads for the 47th annual Auto Value World of Wheels at the BMO Centre. For Sun News, I'm Lyle Aspinall.